Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome back to another episode of the slowest moving game in Hearts of Iron. And we are the Communist Yugoslavia. Now, Portugal's got quite a bit of territory over here. Luckily, they are still just neutral, so that's going to be fine. Um, the game moves really slowly and really chunkily. In fact, I think it's slightly smoother if I play on speed 4. Maybe there's like a slight um, pause for UI stuff in between each game tick, and that's giving it a little bit more responsiveness. The overall game progress doesn't seem to make much of a difference whether we're in speed 4 or speed 5, because it's just so slow. I think there's just too many units or something. It's weird, because, like... I mean, I guess the number of divisions goes up. It might have something to do with, like, the way that people can move and evaluate territory, right? If you're, everyone's land is very small, there's only so many places they can put their units. And I'm willing to bet it's that sort of thing. I'm sorry, did someone just nuke Kiev? Where's where's Kiev? Can I is there a fine tool? Did someone just nuke Kiev? Atomic bomb it's not a it's not a test. Atomic bombing of Kiev. Warfare, been detonated in Kiev. Unprecedented destruction. How long before I start to get nuked? Now, you need 100% air superiority. And that's indeed the case. There's max bombers, no defense in Kiev. I don't know where they're bombing from. God damn. Actually, I don't. Did they, like... I actually really don't know where they sent that from. From one of these islands, maybe? There's no airfield. There's no airfield. From Malta? Actually, there's no airfield there either. I mean, I know these strategic bombers have incredible range now. Okay. I don't know if that changes our timeline. We're still trying to get our paratroopers over here to take on the UK. I guess I guess we're gonna have to rush. I'm wondering if I should keep more more planes behind. Um, we are. Oh, they've moved all their planes out of southern England. If we were ever gonna go, now would be such a sweet time. But our troops aren't really in position yet. Our paratrooper divisions. Ah, actually, they're getting pretty damn close. Let me actually first of all move you to encourage you to garrison. Where are we gonna launch from? I guess from here. This is the closest air base, airfield. So if we go and create a wing of all of our transport planes, and we're going to encourage like more transport planes to arrive here as they get built. So we're going to take these paratroopers. First of all, can I give you a field marshal? It's only level 2. Uh, let's get our level 3 field marshal in charge of that. So all y'all are going to strategically redeploy to here. You're also all going to become paratrooper divisions. So 10 width... It's actually going to free up a lot of gear, but I'm okay. I'm okay with having, like, more divisions, so we have a few more options for movement. I'm okay with this. So, paratrooper divisions, go. Yeah, we're going to gain 127,000 manpower. They're going to get their equipment. A lot of them lost a lot of experience. Certainly, that's true. We actually might be tempted to encourage these guys to exercise to stop them from green green. In fact, I think that's actually what we're going to do. That's going to take some time, but we're going to... We're going to no, because we're going to want you to go as quickly as possible. Get here, regain your org, we're just going to dump you in the south of England. Screw it. That's just going to be the way it is. We're on a clock now. Nukes have been used. Can't stop now. This is nuke country. Okay, seriously. Like, I realize that a lot of these units probably just don't want to move because, like, they're such crappy um, supply of our super heavy battleships. But... Just for whatever, I'm going to start researching those bombers. And so what I'm going to do here is you're going to stop after this one, and you're going to start to produce some super heavy battleships. <laughs> Which are going to become higher priority, so you get the non-damage to things as soon as possible. Actually, I'll get you to do this as well, because that'll... Yeah. We do have to keep uh, building destroyers, I suspect. We're going to do that. Oh, we were going to use our XP on our super heavies. Um, mostly giving them a whole bunch of armor, I think. 
How much we have? 118. Uh, we haven't lost any reliability, which is good. If we do that, reliability goes down. Let's do this. Oh, 130. That's no good. It only goes down by a half a percent, though. I'm going to do this. Double armor, one gun. Boom. So, yeah, you are actually going to be producing the Heavy Battleship Mark I. Excellent. So, yeah, we got to finish this, because otherwise we waste the production. Which is fine. In 1.23 months, um, this one will finish... And this is going to start because it's higher priority and all these functional things are going to switch over to that. Probably it's not going to be relevant for the, the war, but we'll see. Siam, how's it going, man? You're having some difficulty, huh? Although that tank's about to be forced to retreat and that will probably cause it to just disappear. And not everyone's actually joined the battle here yet. Got lots of reserves. Yeah, it's all it's going to get won. Camp. Oh, he is retreating. Oh, to this little island! Okay. Actually surprised that that was an option, but there it is. How are we doing on resources now? I don't think we've locked down the rubber yet. And we control this, right? Oh, no! We don't. This is the Soviet Union. But, that might mean then... Rubber. Uh, Republic of Vietnam can give us some stuff. Okay, sure. How come the Soviets don't actually have access to that rubber? It's Soviet territory, and there's a ton of rubber. I don't know, maybe it's all literally in Singapore itself. Is that possible? I don't know. Go, 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 go. We could have waited for more organization, but... Africa. Alright, more things are in position, nearly there. Oh, how's the uh, Euro response? Did we kick people out of Greece yet? No, but soon. Okay, that's fine. Paratrooper divisions. You're moving, you're getting there. And yeah, I think I'll do it as a single giant blob. Because I don't think you can have multiple armies launch from the same base. So we're going to have, have you land as one giant army. And that'll be good enough. You have no orders, but that's fine. As soon as someone arrives here, I think we'll hit the play button. Because the generals are starting to feel confident about the plan, but I really want to have like the multi, multi-pronged attack. I think that's it. Excellent. Okay, go. That one's fine. Oh, this one's gonna be fine too. Okay. I mean, maybe we could have gone sooner, but every now and again we'll actually like show some token um, caution. We're capped on air experience. Do we want to? We're already doing like fighter mark whatevers, right? Yeah, Mark 1s. Do we want to take another pass at them and kill our productivity? Or, well, we're ages away from the next level. You know what? I think it probably makes sense to go ahead and do another variant of the jet fighter here. Um, apparently the engine's already capped, though. Reliability is non-existent. Okay, cap out the reliability. We did lose some from what we had before, which actually does drain it a fair bit. There you go. We'll keep it balanced and reliability. So, um, a little bit better weapons. Loses a lot of agility and a lot of speed, which isn't great. You know what? No. Let's not do that. We can do a go at our strategic bombers or something. Hmm. Sure. What the hell, right? Speed, agility, still very good. Range, bombing, reliability. There. There you go. A lot fewer of them die on, like, takeoff and stuff like that. So you become a Mark I strategic bomber. No, we're getting a whole lot of those as is, but that's okay. So that should all get bopped, which is fine. Siam, are we still, like, stalled over here? Okay, yeah, they're almost out of juice. We've got plenty over here. I know it looks like it's red over here because of some reason, because of the progress of this, but we're not actually losing. Come on. Look at this. 
We may have to stop and actually encourage them to stop and think about what they're doing here. Uh, we've got... Oh, they do have a fort over here. I guess that's part of it. But yeah, we, we have the air superiority. We have the multiple directions, decryption advantage, and we have air support. There's no reason we... There's no way we don't take this. It just might take a ludicrous amount of time. They're getting resupplied a lot easier than we are, so that's not helping us, but... Alright, good. That's done. So let's just move the Euro response squad back to the center over here. How's our paratroopers? You guys are all in position. Oh, no. Some of them have just arrived now. Now, their our organization does get reset on landing, so maybe we could go as is. It's a bold idea, Cotton. How's our... Air superiority is 100%, despite the fact they do have a lot of fighters. They might have been damaged. They might be parked. All right, let's do it. Screw it. Let's just go. Boom. And I think the plan is still going to be to land here and then try to take Dover. We'll see what's open once we land. Unless I land right on the coast, and then I have the option of sending everyone left or right, as opposed to directly into London, which is li more likely to be guarded. You know what? Let's do that. Okay. What could possibly go wrong? Well, we could lose a whole lot of people simultaneously. Parachuted with losses, but not really. Well, okay. Portsmouth is definitely not very defended. I tell half the people to move here right away. And you know what? Half you guys move over here too. It might get countered, but we're going to see what we can do to do a multi-pronged attack over here. So we've got a grace period before they run out of supplies. So then the idea is to take these two divisions, which will have gotten a little bit of organization ticks, and have them both attack Portsmouth. Which only has two divisions. So they're getting supply. Two angles, good. Excellent. Um, just for AI reasons. I'm going to tell you that that's the plan. Try to move one of you over here. Africa. Okay, so you've done that. Great. Now everyone should be back to plan this thing. Just because whatever. Drive your way over there. All right. Paratroopers. Now, the thing is, once they've landed, I can actually, like, change their unit type. That's interesting that they're failing to retake that. Um, and depending on if we can get goods here or anything, they can start shipping it over. But take Portsmouth. Excellent. Excellent. It's working a lot better than expected. So we might be able to get the Euro response across the way. So you ships here. Your job will be convoy escort in the English Channel, which probably means you're just going to die. But we'll see what we can do. We can move some airplanes into this airfield now as well. Um, in fact, how, what's the capacity of this? Oh! We don't have control of the airfield, not yet. It partially might be a zone thing, or we might just need time. Soviet Union has around 450 planes in this airbase. Well, okay. So do we actually have this now? Oh yeah, no, we're good. So... Grab all this. But not the rockets. Not that I think I can move the rockets anyway. There you go. To Sussex. And then you're going to keep operating over here. Which is great. Portsmouth is nearly ours. Defending this might be a little difficult. Nope. Alright, we're still good. Still good. Still good. Euro Defense Squad. Your job is going to be to um, move to Sherberg. The strategic lead opponent to here. We might get you to walk across the way here. I realize that might get us sunk. Although so far, the naval presence is good for us. So we'll see. You're holding there. You're not holding that. That's only one division. It's not really much of a surprise. We've taken Portsmouth. We now have the ability to get some supplies out over here. Yeah, losing this, not a big deal. It would have been nice to hold the river. But we're okay. Um, I need to tell these guys here, specifically, to hold that front. There you go. Spread out. Make sure they don't pop out of Dover, or at least give them a bit of a hard time. Okay. Not much of a foothold, but it is one.
You can keep pushing there, that's fine. Siam, we still haven't done this? Seriously? Well, at least it's green right now. Oh my god, yeah, they keep coming back with their tanks. You know what? I think I might leave this to other people. And maybe I'll go deal with that, with stuff that's more important. If I just take all these guys out... Yeah, you know what? That's what we're going to do. I'm going to cancel all your orders. And what I'm going to do, just so that you can come here organically at some point, I'm going to tell you to garrison this area here, so eventually they make it over here automatically. Excellent. Paratrooper divisions. Okay, now that we've got a supply route, the thing to do will be to start to transform these guys to regular infantry. Probably not all of them. We might do another paratrooper job behind lines at some point. So yeah, let me select all these. Select half. And turn you into our regular infantry divisions. I'll take a sec to reset the goods. Get things over there. Convoy sailing done. Destroyer sub detect. Yeah. Find more subs just in case. So a lot of the strength just got reset. Not all of it everywhere. We should be able to hold out for a little bit. Uh, what's the supply line marker? So yeah, we're a little short right now. Because there is a limit. But... Oh! Um, that's incoming base. Is it possible that... No, you've got level 10. You're fine. There's plenty of infrastructure problems over here. Which we just claimed this area. So it should all be at the bottom, right? Or not. Do we not have enough that repairing this is our, is our beeswax? Apparently not. Hmm. Alright, we're going to let these guys rearm. Like, we're not going to push out yet. We're just going to hold this. But yeah, apparently we don't own enough of this zone so that we can actually determine, like, the state of things, which is too bad. Alright, you guys are done. So, we still have complete dominance over here. There are some enemy ships present, but... We're going to be splitting this into two armies after. <laughs> Probably, like, using a level 6 general for one of these wings. We may not need to, but it might be a little easier to organize. So, yeah, you're being you're being attacked by planes. The planes also spot. There's some submarines over here, too. But our cruiser and destroyers are coming in here. we got 46 divisions. We'll see what the number looks like afterwards. I don't know. We may, For all I know, we're supposed to have 47 or 48. British Malaya has finally capitulated. Thank God. Maybe all we have to do is get out of there. That's entirely possible. So, since that's the case, I don't suppose uh, you guys have some more rubber. Y'all got any more of that rubber? I wonder if the Soviet Union just has no... currently exports nothing. Did they just change their... Um, oh, hold on. Apparently I can see it from there. There might be another place to see it, but... Is that it? Do you just have, like, closed economy? So you don't trade anything to me. You douchebags. That is very douchey. Well, maybe they'll be building planes at least, so they don't get nuked again. Wouldn't that be swell? Uh, oh, you have no no orders. Okay, that's fine. Because um, I, I thought you did. Whatever. You guys here, and you. Just because they'll make it a little easy for me to manage. Level 6 general, and we're going to make you red. You're going to be assigned to this front. And then the teal army, we're going to delete that front. Your job's to hold here for now. You're still getting some of your supplies over. And the other job will be to take it over. You're still getting supplies over. Some of these guys don't have orders. Oh yeah, there's only 10 divisions assigned. There we go, 24. And I should get you to plan an offensive line. Let's plan to push up to this river here, taking London along the way. Cool? Cool. So, org is still recharging. Uh, oh, some of these guys are still paratroopers. That's not what I want. Hold on. The paratroopers here should be assigned to the teal. And we should steal some actual industry. Or, um, infantry. the red. There we go. Bring us to exactly 24. I was, that's what I was trying to do, but I wasn't sure. I, like, I wasn't really counting. I was like, I think that looks about right. Boom! 24 divisions. Okay, so shuffle around a bit. 
prep your thing, then we go and bop Dover, hopefully before more of these people leave by ship, so we can actually just kill them. Uh, that's 46 in total. I don't think we've lost anything yet. Now, our convoys are going to get hammered a fair bit. Uh, the other thing I could do is with this... Because I don't think we're flying over the English Channel. So at this point, since we don't need 100% air superiority, I'm going to split this wing in half. You are going to be flying over the English Channel. Where you don't... Uh, you know, I guess you're still going to need interception to deal with naval bombers. And then you're still over southern England. Uh, the other thing we can do is grab these support wings, which are all over the place. There you go. Close air support. Excellent. How's Japan going? Ah, you finished. Good. So, oh my god, and the Soviet Union actually has some troops over here now. Oh my god, it's almost like they realized, oh, Japan is a thing that exists. How crazy is that? So again, I'm going to tell you to strategically redeploy to here. So then you'll do a normal movement, hopefully the rest of the way. So you've got this, you've got that. India's done. I'm really hoping that the Soviets are redeploying more stuff and also thinking a little bit more actively about attacking. Um, is that something we got to be worried about? I'm not sure. Um, hopefully they're thinking a little bit more about attacking the UK. You guys are being told to go, so you will be moving over here. That's probably not something to worry about. Keep doing that. We've got some... Uh, we've got plenty of people in the bank. All right. Uh, you go. Take out Dover. Probably could have gone faster. Probably could have done, at some point, the, um, the aerial invasion a little sooner, but I don't know. Okay. Let me go and tell all of the red group to join the teal battle plan. But I'm going to encourage you to move here anyway. Use the tank because it's just a little bit faster. I assume. I haven't actually haven't checked the uh, movement rates in a bit. Oh, and they were landing some new people here, so it's good. We still have the attack. So we'll get everyone to join in this attack here. I think we can probably hit play, like, more or less instantly once people arrive. You know, they're going to be like, not everyone's in position. There's fortified stuff. There's going to be a lot of openings. Australia assumes responsibility for colonial holdings. Neat. Uh, can we actually um, do buildings over here now? Looks like we can. Level 10... If we check Sussex, there we go. Let's get your um, uh, your infrastructure maxed out, repaired as quickly as possible here. We're not going to have to worry about um, uh, resistance because we've got way too many troops. It's mostly about air bombardment. But yeah, getting that to go. I'm amazed our supply is working out okay. We still have lots of that. British Malaya has capitulated again. They must have retaken something and then lost it instantly. Uh, we can probably... Okay, we don't have the, the prep, but there's not enough forces to stop us from moving up here. I mean, attacking London directly, maybe not. See, like, that's that's stupid. Go this way. I know that's still a river crossing. Apparently it's too hard of a crossing. Mm, you might be able to punch through. And then we can attack London from another flank. Alright, well, maybe not. Tell you what, let's move the front line and say something like this, then. I might have wanted more prep. I don't know. So we have the description advantage. They have a fort, and they have air superiority. Although, this goes back and forth all the time. Like, we actually have more fighters. So yeah, that's going to alternate pretty frequently. Some of the fighters might be on repair duty. That might be all. We've got air superiority over here, which is great. Shipping-wise, enemy ships present. So we have no friendly ships, because I think these guys are repairing. Um, actually, did you reset your commands completely? Okay, you repair. I, I, maybe you'll go back to your old order after you're done repairing. That's going to be the hope over here. And so we're still building ships. We're still building planes. How long is that going to take? 1.2 years for a super battleship, as kind of expected. And the destroyers are going to be coming in relatively slowly. Again, not really a surprise. Oh, that's... That's desert over here. So this guy's going to be completely cut off here. Cat. Lovely. You do that. Can I actually get you to do this instead? Again, I really shouldn't bother with Africa. 
because I don't think it's relevant. But it kind of annoys me that it's there, that it's a thing that's being a problem in this war. I mean, not really a problem, but you know, it's the wrong, like, I want it, I want it to be, I want Yugoslavia's name to be bigger. That's all that matters. It's the only thing that matters in almost every game, especially any of the Paradox Grand Strategy games. Is my name the biggest that it possibly can be? No? Then we must do more. All right, at least this is finally progressing. So many planes over here. Also, it doesn't feel quite as laggy as before. I still think that probably taking um, Southeast Asia has simplified a lot of the pathfinding route, routing. Routing? Routing? I don't know. Pick your accent. Uh, Y'all, speaking of accents... Hold that, and then also consider an offensive line that's, like, pushing like that. Would you kindly? Okay, we still haven't pushed there, but a few of the others are pushing. Um, a a two-angled attack on Bristol would probably be relatively successful. Actually, it looks like the attack as is is going to be successful, so that's nice. And we're going to push in here. It's still all river. I mean, we could get around the river, so we might get around that way. And again, we could do more airdrops, but I don't know. We haven't actually turned everyone into non paratroop uh, we might be able to land on Birmingham for example now I might not want to go with a crazy amount and also part of these attacks aren't going to be as successful because the paratroopers aren't very good right um, let's say we get uh, I don't know a 10 pack 10 pack of paratroopers and then the remaining paratroopers fine 11 pack of paratroopers I was I was gonna do some um, some conversions of whatever. Let's get another really good general here. Uh, this one, Urban Specialist. There you go. You guys have got all that stuff. We may have to do some more restructuring. Did I move my uh, uh, fighters over here, or my um, transports? I bet you I did, because I did just, like, click everything. You're going to plan that move over there. I'm going to tell you to halt, so you guys are going to get over there. Um, you're going to do strategic redeployment, so we'll have to wait a second before you get reorganized, but that's going to be the plan. That's still Southern England. Yes, we have more fighters. How's our detection? Detection's a little lower. I think we'll get there. I'll tell you what, you do that. So we can get a nice multi-pronged attack. They've got a lot of defenders in Plymouth. This will extend the front. These guys, The rest of these guys will move automatically. Although, oh, there's the rest of the paratroopers. Okay, you guys don't be paratroopers. Be regular infantry. I'm going to encourage you to start moving right away. Looks like we took Bristol. Um... Are anyone else going to get in there in time? There it is. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to hold it one way or another. So that's going to be okay. Uh, paratroopers are still moving. Where are you going? Are you going over here? There you go. You might have had existing orders that you were still trying to execute. Uh, we got free military factories. I suspect that's not literally true. Although, holy crap, we actually do. Because usually, it says that even if you've got damaged ones. But we're actually using every single one of our intact... Military factories. That's crazy sauce. So the question is, what do we do? I'm thinking mostly build more planes. We might want to start another anti-tank line. We don't need light tanks. Uh, we do need more modern tanks, apparently. Although, what I could do is free up a bunch of modern tanks from down in um, down in Africa. Just uh, delete a couple of divisions over there to free them up. Um, so yeah, I'm wondering if we actually add another anti-tank line. Uh, we've got one that's maxed out right now. It doesn't have full productivity yet. It's okay. You're actually not producing any advanced rocket because we're going to be short on tungsten as well. Um, I think we're good in most of the other categories. We've got tons of mechanized. So I think if we're going to do anything, we're going to try to get another jet fighter line. Although again, we're likely going to be short on stuff. Yeah, we barely have any excess factories. So we'll do that just so that the message goes away. And if we want anything, it'll probably be some extra planes, but that's about it. So you guys are still moving forward here, which is lovely. And again, here we're, we're starting to get around the river, which is great. Okay, if we're going to make a move on Birmingham, it's got to be now. Otherwise, these guys are going to be able to pull back to it way too easily. So go ahead on Birmingham. It may have been a little silly, but no. Nope. Okay, we're going to land. And if anyone tries to attack, like we've got, we've got other angles that we can attack from. We do land with very little organization, but we have the defensive bonuses from um, being in a city here. Here, you actually have the governor or the general that gives you the... Um, uh, the, the city fighting bonus, which is nice. So you guys are moving up there. Oh, we didn't even steal the general from the Africa group. That's cool. Uh, how'd that little dude, did he get dealt with? Yeah, he got... Oh, no, he's still in the little pocket there. 
I don't suppose you can just bop him because he's like out of supply. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Uh, you, I'm going to get you to do this. And you're going to, yeah, do this. Just get rid of that because this is all desert that you can't enter anyway. So it's going to get recolored as we advanced, which is nice. Yugoslavian sort of, I don't know, grayish green. It's like a very desaturated green is what it looks like to me. Although I have a little bit of a blue-green thing going on. So there might be, you know, I might just be seeing things incorrectly. That's this army over here. I guess I'll let you get your planning bonus a little bit more. Because that's quite a tough little defense over there. I'm sure we can take it at some point. But yeah, we may as well wait for this planning to go. You don't. You only have the one tank division as well. So you actually might have a hard time pushing that. I'm wondering... Mm, I don't think I'd want to thin it out anymore like this. Even this, I'm taking some risks. Because I could get cut off um, badly here. Let's get you to just run up the coast here. Plus, if we can take out that radar installation, wouldn't that be lovely? Mm -hmm. Occasional tanks, or take occasional subs, but hopefully we're getting them most of the time. Uh, you actually feel like you're, you're ready to go here, which is interesting. We don't have max planning. We actually don't even have max strength over here, because some of these guys were paratroopers that we swapped out. Birmingham's being held. Do I want to move out and try any other weird moves? Like, running to Manchester? That's probably just asking for way too much trouble. Why don't I just... Hold on. Halt. Try to do this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of these guys and get them to assist from the back over here. There we go. Half of them stay still. Don't waste any um, organization on attack. But the other half are going to help out and apparently not be quite enough as some of these guys reshuffle about and get defeated. They were attacking across the river here, so that's no good. Okay, you halt. We don't waste any organization. There we go. We'll be able to join up over here. Uh, keep... F yeah, halt. No, why are you retreating into that territory? What? Why are you falling back forward? That doesn't make any sense. You're just going to get overrun. What the hell? I mean, I know I told this tank to move forward. I think he just got bopped. Why would... So, you are here. I told. I right-clicked for the move here. You take this territory and then decide to keep moving forward as part of your fallback? Okay, we've seen this a few times where units have gotten, like bopped a few times where it didn't seem to make any sense, and I'm starting to f understand how that could happen now. Because they're falling back in a sort of weirdly forward way. You, attack. Purple, oh yeah, that's you guys. Well done. So we might want to keep these paratroopers around for some more invasions here. Okay, Africa. Dun, 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 doing this. Excellent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disband some of these guys. First of all, like the light tanks, fuck it, we'll leave them there again. We're missing light tanks, but who cares? Um, I'm going to disband a couple of the heavy tank divisions. Even though, God, they're becoming elite. Like, that actually does hurt a fair bit, but it would just to free up some tanks that could be shifted somewhere else. They do fight much better. I suppose I could just, like, just move some out of here. Back to Europe. It's a long freaking trip, though. Like you guys, you're not even willing to move forward. Because the supply situation is so bad. Alright, y'all are getting merged to this so-called Siamese group, which is not actually. And then what you're going to do is you're going to strategically redeploy... Um... Yeah, up here. And yeah, you're actually, I don't even have to tell you this. You would halt. You're going to do that anyway because you're moving into a garrison instruction, which you've now joined up with, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and dis, uh, disband this light tank division. And one more. This one's got, yeah, I should have looked at the XP of last one, I don't remember. So hopefully that'll um, open up enough light tanks. A lot of them are still obsolete, but if it can open up enough light tanks to keep one strong light tank division going, that wouldn't be too bad. 
So we got some more people doing some fallbacks here. They're, they're actually falling back from this territory. Although some other people are coming in to reinforce there, so it might be okay. I'm going to get the paratrooper divisions to actually just merge up. There we go, with the main teal group. Uh, that's incorrect. Sorry, I did that wrong. Shit. I merge these guys with that, which is not what I wanted to do. Come back. Be a thing. Front line. Offensive line. Go. Yeah, I screwed you up. Damn it. Come back to planning phase. Although, what I am going to do is I'm going to steal some of the tanks over here, probably. We really don't have enough. Well, they got the few that got bopped, which is annoying. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and convert some of these guys over to... I suppose I should do the ones with less XP. Because they're going to lose XP anyway, so... I'm going to convert a few guys to heavy tanks. I don't think we've got enough over there. No, zero available. <sighs> Siam isn't here yet. Alright, you know what? You go over here. We're just going to leave infantry over here to keep them pinned in if we can. Did I add you? There you go. Get your ass over there. I should probably do a little bit more manual steering or something. I think I'm going to convert some of the paratroopers over here. I'll keep some around for some more airdrop stuff, but you guys are going to get converted to regular infantry. Um, is there literally no one in London? Oh no, there's someone there. Uh, it looks like a lot of these places are clear. I guess they're just moving. Um, or maybe we can take London as is. Somehow. And finish that move and then you'll attack from that angle. More people jump in here and then help out with London. Looks like we're going to take it though. We're almost at Liverpool and marching well. Uh, let me go and redraw our offensive line here and say, hey, just push east. Yeah, you're not supposed to actually be, like, fighting. Just keep these guys pinned in for now until we can sort out what to do with them. London has fallen. We're steadily pushing across, which is nice. I thinned out those guys over there, but we're still pushing in Africa. Uh, did we actually push all the way to our offensive line? I think we did. So... Push up to there. Just keep going. So Siam, it's not actual Siam. They're just trying to make their way over here, which is okay. Uh, paratrooper division... Oh! You! Go. Kick these guys out. Thank you. Now, I feel like I should still keep an infantry division in Japan. I'm going to go ahead and, like, center you guys up. Or, an uh, infantry army. Because I don't trust the UK to actually be able to keep holding this. So, we're going to have to be a little bit more patient. Do that. I mean, we could probably do some more encirclements. But at this point, we can just keep push, push, push. Probably just put a front line on the other side, and that's okay. Free military factories, again, which may or may not be accurate. It looks like it is. We're probably getting a ton from the UK. That's true. The problem is, do we actually have the ability to do something with it? Well, let's build more modern tanks. Modern tank mark one. Uh, we've got some XP. Can we... Do that. So the modern tank mark two. Modern tank mark two. And Mark II. And what we'll do is we'll pre-set up another one. Like that. Okay. I mean, there's still resource problems, but... That's a problem for another day. So we still have plenty of convoys. We're not seeing any supply shortages over here. So we're getting enough stuff through, which is nice to see. Okay. Stop your attack for now. We'll get you to work up a little bit of planning. If we see some openings, then we'll do it. It'd be great to take Liverpool. Um, I think, actually. 
We probably can take it in a second here. And do an assist. Well, you don't have much organization. There we go. Take Liverpool. I think the UK's unity is very high, yeah. That's why we're talking about, like, building nukes or something at some point. Oh, man, this video's gone way too long. Because nukes are a good way to, to lower unity. Plus, they just destroy everything in one, one province. Now, you're here. You're not actually landing or anything. I don't think so. That's probably okay. Yeah. Organization needs to be rebuilt. Some of these guys are still waiting for their full strength. We'll let some of their organization arrive. Um, I could decide to take a bunch of tanks, since we're just chilling on the front here. Why don't I go, actually, and take a bunch of heavy tanks? Which is four divisions. That's all I got. We're going to send them down here to help clear up Plymouth. And we're going to put a cut in this video. Nice to see some progress, finally. Any naval invasions I should worry about? I don't see any at a glance. The UK is probably too busy with things. Should really grab a bunch of these tanks here and get them somewhere else, but... That's the way it is. That's all clean. That's all clean. Um, we can't go through here. That's that's a desert all the way over here. Um, and we can't go through Libya, which is fine. We'll just keep, like, sort of pushing around here. Um, which is fine. Again, it's sort of a little ludicrous amounts of overkill here. That's all right. Still waiting. Some of these guys are starting to arrive. Okay. I want them to arrive on mass and then cross on mass because one at a time there might be a higher chance that they'll all get shot down. Um, maybe what I'll do at this point is uh, no, still have you show up in garrison orders, and then at some point I'll get you to strategically move to Sherberg and manually move you across. Or actually, at that point, what I may do is at that point is I just might merge you with one of these armies and you'll start using both of these ports or something like that to go across. And that might be good enough. We'll see. Thanks for watching, folks. See you. It's free dockyards. Uh, you should not be in auto. You should be joining this fleet. Did I... Did something get reset and now I've got, like, a second fleet somewhere that's being built in a stupid place? That's your... No. You. That's your home. Go there. Hopefully you won't die. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.